Now we're going to create a full screen version of our post. So for example, this is going to be useful for when, say, we get a notification about the fact that a user's replied or liked a given post. We can just tap on the media preview here and be taken to a full screen view of the post that was interacted with. So we're going to put this, we're going to create all of this within a individual page called our post screen. This is going to consist of a header and then we're just going to put the post widget, what we've created within the post widget in the body of the scaffold. So we're going to head first to our post screen dart file and pages. And to fetch an individual post, we're going to need to pass to post screen a couple of pieces of data, the post ID for the post and the user ID. So we're going to create a couple of arguments, a final string variable, user ID, final string variable, post ID, and we'll pass both of these values to our constructor as named arguments, this.post ID and this.user ID. And we're going to request an individual post data every time we visit a given screen with the help of a future builder. So we're going to return from build future builder. And for our future, to fetch an individual post, we need to grab the posts ref. So we'll import that from home dot, and then we'll select the post link to a given user by their user ID, then the collection user posts then the document for the post based on the post ID dot get at the end. Then for the builder, we're going to have context and snapshot. If we don't have any data, naturally, we're going to return our circular progress, which will import from progress. But when we do get our data off of snapshot.data will import our post model use from document pass in snapshot.data and put the result in a post variable then we can return a center widget we're gonna center its child which will be our scaffold it's first gonna consist of our custom header as our app bar. And for its title text, we'll set that to post.description. And in the event that this description text overflows the header, in order to make sure it doesn't break onto another line, we can go to header.dart and find the title text widget and add on the property overflow and set that to text overflow.ellipsis.clip.fade however you want that text to fade out when it overflows. Then for our body, it'll just consist of a list view where for its children, we'll simply have a container and for its child, we'll pass in our post. So now we can save this and to use this in our activity feed, we can head to where we're printing the line showing posts within configure media preview and instead execute a new function in the return called show post. To it we're going to need to pass context in order to use navigator or navigator.push method. So we'll need to add to the parameters of configure media preview context as well and we're going to get our build context from our build function right here. So I'll pass in context as an argument to configure media preview. And now wherever we like, we can create this show post function. And we can just say navigator dot push. We'll create our material page route with its builder function. And we're going to return our post screen, which will import and will pass down its two argument values, post ID to the post ID argument and user ID to the user ID argument. 
Now let's save everything and test this out. So when we have a given notification, we can tap on the media preview and be taken to a full screen version of that post. Unfortunately, we can use a version of this show post function in a place such as our tile. Remember in our profile page, we can just tap on a given post tile to see a full screen version of it. So let's copy all of show post, head to post tile, and add it within its body. The only difference for using show post is we're going to need to get the post ID from post.postid and the user ID from post.ownerid. And then instead of printing showing post, we'll execute show post. So if we try this out as well, we see that it works. And now let's create a similar function for being able to see other users' profiles. So assuming we have multiple users in our app, we want the ability to, in a number of places around our app, add a show profile function to be able to see another user's profile based on their user ID. So let's create such a function within activity feed at the very bottom and show profile is going to first accept a build context and then as a named argument a profile ID and again we're just going to use navigator dot push nothing special here and we'll push to the profile page which will import and to go to a user's profile, we'll just need their profile ID, which will be set to the profile ID that we made as our parameter. So now to use this, we'll head up to our other print line in activity feed for this gesture detector within our build function, where we we're previously printing show profile in the return, we'll execute show profile, first pass in context, and then set profile ID to user ID in this case. So now when we press on a user's username for a notification that we get, let's go to a notification in our activity feed. When we press on that, we'll be taken to their profile. And now let's do the same for search. So we'll use show profile there. And we'll go to where we're printing tapped on our gesture detector. And we'll replace that with show profile, which will import, pass in context, and profile ID here will be set to user.id. And now when we search for a given user, so let's search for a user that's not our own. When we find such a user, we can tap on them. And the reason we're getting this assertion failed error is because we haven't provided a condition within profile.dart for the build profile function for where we're not the profile owner. So to resolve this, we can just say else and return whatever text widget we want. I'll just turn the text button. And when we save that, we're able to see the header as well as their entire profile page. And one other place where it would be good to see a user's profile is when we tap on the username, when we're in the list view for looking at a list of posts, when we're tapping on the username for a user who created a post. So let's head to post.dart, our post widget, and where we're printing showing profile within our post header, we'll replace that with show profile, which will import and for the profile ID, we'll set that to simply user.id. And now from a post, we can see a user's entire profile.